Hello everyone, I am Anand Subramanyam. Um, I am the principal architect uh, for the ML and AI practice at Aspire Systems. Um, really glad to join you in the journey of um, learning about machine learning and how machine learning is effective in uh, the process of customer segmentation in the retail industry. Uh, we are going to use uh, a simple model of customer segmentation, which is called RFM analysis. And by way of doing proper RFM analysis, how customer segments can be uh, effectively created um, this will be the agenda of today's demo. So as part of this demo, we would also be covering the various aspects of uh, machine learning project lifecycle, right from data ingestion all the way to um, what I call as explainable machine learning, which is visual visualization. Um, so the very first thing that we need is to check the basic hygiene uh, for any machine learning project, which is the right, including the right packages. So for uh, data analysis, we are using uh, pandas, we are also using NumPy for all the mathematical computations as well as certain aspects of data analysis. For visualization, we are going to use Matplotlib, Seaborn, and um, certain 3D visualizations, packages that help in 3D visualization. Um, for data preparation, we are uh, predominantly uh, depending on scikit-learn's um, scikit-learn packages, uh, where uh, we have both the model selection and the pre-processing packages. Uh, we are going to use this for um, uh, splitting the data. We are also going to use, use this for scaling the data which is um, which is much more important when we are trying to uh, execute a machine learning um, project. Um, model execution, um, we, we are using various different model techniques. Um, uh, since this is going to be a classification um, algorithm, we are using um, as customer segmentation as a classification problem. Um, so we are gonna use various different classification algorithms like support vector, uh, machine, uh, voting classifier, random forest classifier, decision tree classifier, uh, and also um, uh, the, the ensemble packages, right? So for both voting classifier and uh, random, for, random forest classifier. Um, as is with any machine learning project, model evaluation is a very important aspect that helps a data, data scientist to understand how well his models have performed. Uh, so we are using a model, model evaluation techniques in the right matrices like confusion matrix, mean square error, accuracy score, or classification report uh, uh, parameters um, for evaluating the model. We will also be looking at how we boost the model by um, you know, using XGBoost classifier, um, XGBoost package. Um, and uh, you know, uh, based on that, there are also other uh, typical packages that we are using for uh, math, uh, math packages and the CSV package and the date time package for various different use cases. Um, again, most of these packages are um, uh, something that we have specifically used for the purposes of the data set that we are using. You may choose to add or um, remove any of these packages as you deem it fit for the particular business use case that you have. Um, to give a background about the data uh, before we actually get into the data ingestion process, uh, the data is um, uh, loaned from um, UCI, uh, University of California uh, library, machine learning library. Uh, it's called as the online retail data set, a very common publicly available data set that has been used for various different uh, uh, purposes in terms of machine learning. Right. Um, so um, a, a simple read process allows us to uh, quickly read the data set. The data set has, um, has quite a lot of records. Um, as with, the, with the help of a simple read, we, we were uh, able to read the data. Um, and it is always a good practice to do a describe just to understand um, just to understand the modalities of the fields that we are using. While this data set has many fields, uh, the describe process typically gives you um, the summary statistics of, um, of the fields that are, that are numeric in nature or continuous in nature. 